in the front, maybe much more direct. Maybe if the person is stronger, they may speak out here. Let's put it kind of in our nasal. If everyone can give me another hi. Hi, how are you? It's a little more if in here. We can give it a choice for that. Um, we can drop her down. Perhaps she's a little bit lower uh, into a chest resonance. Give me a nice hi in here. Hi, everyone. You certainly come across in a different way when you speak like this, I think. Um, I doubt that she would be very low, but we can kind of get a little lower. Maybe she's really down here. Uh, I don't know, maybe she's an opera singer. Give me another hi from down here. Hello, everyone. So uh, when you approach a character, you can kind of choose where you're going to put it. So I think stereotypically, I might make her around here. Maybe she's lovely and bubbly. So about this. So that's where I would go with that. Uh, do you want to try drawing another one? So that's kind of, uh, obviously you would warm up a little bit more than what we did now. But that's how I would approach something like this. I know. Very windy. It's lovely though, isn't it? Of course the sun just came out, which is nice. Warmer. Okay, I'll hold it down. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, so the next character, since I just drew female character, I'm going to draw a boy. Okay, kids. Kids character, alright? Boy, maybe 11. Ash. And that kind of year old, you know. Okay. Ash. Ash. I don't know how to do Something it. unique. Something unique. We can give him whatever voice we want. 30? That's old. 7. <laughs> 7. Oh, hey. Hey. 132. Now that's young. Would you? How do you think someone 132 would speak? Would they still talk? Maybe they. You could just imagine what they were saying. Recording. Uh, I don't oh, know. Maybe it's someone who is old. They could barely get any sound out. Who is? Oh, oh. Nine years old. Oh, okay. This person, how old is this? I guess I'm thinking maybe 12, 12, 11 years old, something like that. Because <laughs> this character has more like a character personality, you know, more like he's kind of independent. Mm. So, if you're six, you can't be out on your own. Yeah. Ten. Maybe. Yeah, like that kind of, it's pretty like sensitive that, yeah. It's so ash. <laughs> well, I know a few ten-year-olds and uh, I don't know that they'd be very good on their own. First of all, when you're ten, uh, you don't want to go to work, so how are you going to make any money for your journey in real life? Not in <laughs> Kanto. <laughs> Everything's free in the Pokemon world. If that's true. You can, by working with others, you can barter. <laughs> by beating people in Pokemon battles. But, uh, you know, often through kindness, you can, there are more rewards. Oh, you have to wait for that, I think. What's that? I think he looks quite interesting. He does look determined. He looks like a better part of Ash. For a minute. <laughs> There's a little bit of Ash in all of us. There's... It's, uh, it looks like he got tangled in a cherry blossom tree. But it's not that. Isn't that old hairband, like... Oh, right, right. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like this. Kind of dry flower looking. <laughs> he was crawling through the bushes. The bathroom line was yeah. too long, so he's kind of... <laughs> inappropriate. Sorry. <laughs> Although realistic for this event.
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> like Gary. It's Gary. <laughs> no comment, no comment. Something like this. He's from the Civil War too. <laughs> Civil War. Wow. I guess he's really kind of costumey, cape, you know, kind of rough. And he draws a cape. Yeah. It's I just great. wanted to draw like this character. Yeah, he's just kind of going on his his arm action on the front in you know, the action scene. Because I just drew just a calm, you know, elf female character. So this time I wanted to draw something more active, you know, like a strong a dynamic scene. So I just drew a boy who's, you know, like staring at you, like really strong kind of eye he has, right? And then maybe he's shouting or like saying something. Looks like he's running and away. He's just start, yeah, he's starting some kind of action. Something like that. It's kind of rough. But it, look, it looks like he's running away. Like it looks like he's running away or like he's coming towards you. Uh -huh. Yeah, could be running him. energetically or coming towards you. Yeah. So for something like this, uh, for a boy, I think obviously you have to figure out his age. I don't think he's going to be really young because it wouldn't really suit him. Um, maybe he would be talking a little bit more like this. Maybe he has a lot of gumption for uh, something like Ash. Maybe he'd be out here if he's that way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but I think if he has a little of age, maybe I would drop him a little bit. Um, Ash is a voice that I make <clears throat> in here, which is a little bit hard to speak and breathe at the same time. Uh, so maybe I'd make him a little bit younger. He's got a little Ash quality to him, but maybe he'd be out here. Maybe he'd be charging through. Uh, or he'd be, what's that? Ash at 16. Ash at 16. <laughs> very, very cool. What's that? Ash at 29. Ash. What is a hundred? Um, but anyway, so for a boy like this, um, for me, I, my range for boys, obviously, uh, once you get to a certain deepness, I'm out. So, <laughs> um, for this guy, I'd probably make him around here, probably. Is, uh, or he could be, maybe he has a youngish voice, but he doesn't have a lot of strength and he's really trying to get there. Um, maybe I would go with that. Or if he was shy or had difficulty figuring out breathing, reading, <laughs> figuring out what he was going to do. Um, so I would figure out where to put it. For the most part, I think uh, voice acting wise, obviously acting I think is the most important thing. You have to know what your objective is. You have to know who you're talking to, what you're trying to get from them, and what's going on in the scene. But the second most important thing is breath support. And uh, one great way to work on your breath support is to be able to take a deep breath. If you guys want to do it with me, take a deep breath in, all the way down, and then ha, 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 ha. Really, really use your diaphragm to push the air out. And when I'm doing something like this, I certainly want to be very supported uh, so that the choice that I've made I can commit to and have the breath support underneath it. Um, even if you're in a really high character, you still want to be really controlling your breath or else there's nowhere to go with it because you can get kind of high but you won't have any um, support and it's not quite as believable. So uh, I think that's probably to know your objective in your scene and to really work on your breath support I think are um, two things I would recommend. Yes? It could be my regular voice. Do I? Do you mean for this character? Maybe. Maybe. I would like to think I had girls and boys can do the same thing, so if I have determination, I could still sound like him. Um, does anyone have any questions, first of all, about um, drawing or voicing something just to start off with? Yes? You there with the uh, red Spider-Man shirt? Did you have a question? Funny face. Are you going to draw another one, or is it? Are we going to pick some people? 